We begin with the day after day gun violence in New York City. 18 people were shot yesterday, the NYPD says, in 14 different shootings. And today there are more calls for a change as community leaders demand safer streets. CBS 2's John Diaz reports. Crime scene tape replaced by calls for change at the corner of Seaview Avenue and Rockway Parkway in Canarsie on Tuesday. What we're saying out here clearly is that we need these police on the street. We need to have that anti-crime unit, a modernized, a modernized version with, with some monitoring to take place, but we need their intel so we can get these guns off the street. Last night, six people were shot in the neighborhood over the span of just one hour. This is senseless, it's evil, and guess what, it has to stop. Clergy and community leaders like Tony Herbert calling out the mayor, warning him signing reform laws will jeopardize the safety of more New Yorkers. Today, the gloves come off to this mayor, and I'll say it again. What's happening in New York City, the blood is on your hands. What happened to that one-year-old and you to go there and cry fake crocodile tears to say that you had that family's back and you're allowing these progressive uh, protesters out here to destroy our city, you're at fault. Last night's gun violence erupted not far from where one-year-old Devel Gardner Jr. was shot and killed the day before. Neighbors like Pauline Sinclair afraid to walk with her grandkids even in daylight. I'm afraid of their safety. They, I'm taking them to school now. Anything could happen. As the sun goes down, the thieves and the thugs come out. They think they can run the city, and the cops are scared to react. This man has lived in Canarsie for more than 50 years, saying the city is changing for the worse. They stopped uh, uh, the anti-crime, and that's what kept the guns off the streets. Look what's happening all over. Last week, shootings were up 277 percent compared to the same week last year, with 60 victims compared to 17 the year before. Today, Mayor Bill de Blasio acknowledging the city has seen a problem this summer. His solution, partnership. So much pain is being caused, so much fear because of this uh, spate of shootings, and we have to find a way to beat it. And we do that by bringing police and community together. And police are still searching for the suspects in last night's shootings, as well as the shooting that claimed the life of that one-year-old boy. In Canarsie, Brooklyn, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.